Martin, today we're going to be reviewing the turn assist and the mill assist from RoboJob. Now, Hydrofeed are selling these solutions into the UK market. Now, I've seen many turn assist solutions in the UK market, but not as many mill assist um, applications out there. Now, is there a misconception that automating a fifth axis machine or a three axis machine when doing low volume work is, is, is not necessary? Yes, to some extent that there is a misconception there. You're quite right. Robots in the UK, uh, the, the perception of robots on machining centres in the UK tends to be you have one job and you have millions of the same parts and you put a cage around the machine and that robot runs that one job for the lifetime of the machine. Those conceptions have to be broken down. We, if, if Hydrofeed are an ambassador for this technology, we, we practice what we preach. We've recently purchased and installed in our working showroom a mill assist on a, on a three axis machining centre with a fourth axis rotary table attached on volumes of work that range from 10 to 100 and it is proving to revolutionize our machining methods we have scheduling now where we can see what jobs are starting when they finish we're paying people to come in to load a robot which will work all weekend with no labor cost attached to it whatsoever on cycle times of half an hour so effectively this is increasing your profitability but more importantly it's giving you better, uh, get better competitiveness globally? Without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt it is. It, it, it's, it's, it was a, I agree it's a big decision, it's a big outlay to purchase the robot, but you get an immediate payback on your investment. You're, you're producing parts, you can take the most com expensive commodity out of the equation, the man's time. You can run the machine, labour free, all weekend, on top of that, the man that was running the machine and traditionally standing in front of it is free to do more creative tasks rather than stand in front of a machine loading for 70% of his time. We're seeing the efficiency on our machines going up from 35-40% to upwards of 85%. They only stop if there's a, a tall breakage or something comes into the, uh, the zone areas of the robots in the evening. It's made a tremendous difference to us. We run exact batches that we're talking about here anything up from 10 to 100. I mean these figures are outstanding really it'd be good to kind of come to your facility and look at this solution now in the, in, in the UK you'd never dream of starting an automotive business without automation but in aerospace sectors medical sectors um, and, and other sectors where they're doing lower volume works what you're saying is that the technology now is now available to automate lower volume work is 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 robo job the solution and if so how is this achieved uh, that's a big question but uh, you're, you're right that there, the, the robo job system is the solution it, it it's it's there for for our industry to embrace if, if we don't embrace it we're going to fall behind we're seeing it in other industry sectors such as as you mentioned packaging aerospace automotive What's happened to those industries? They've become more efficient, they've become more profitable. Our industry has to do the same and the, and the opportunity is there to do it now. Our industry stands on the cusp of an exciting time. That there's, a, there's availability now to automate their machine tools that has never been there before. To, to increase your spindle time and gain hundreds of hours a month or a year with no labour in front of it. It doesn't make sense not to embrace it. We've done so and it's made a big difference to our machine shop. And what will happen if you don't embrace it? Well, sadly, we'll fall behind. We can see we've had first-hand experience here in mainland Europe of what other countries and companies within those countries are doing. They're doing exactly the same work as us. Their efficiencies have increased tenfold. If we don't, we fall behind and none of our industry deserves that. We're good engineers in the UK. We need to embrace this industry to fly the UK's flag, especially in these uncertain political times. We, we need to do it. Embracing this technology um, and innovation is key, but you've also got further innovations and technology that is, is now available to the UK market. Can you tell us a little bit about this? 
Oh, indeed, yes, this is, we're scratching the surface to some extent with this. The next phase, certainly, that Hydrofeed are working with RoboJob on is the tower system, which is exactly what it said it is. It's a tower. You can load different jobs in. You can load your tooling, your work holding in it. And the robot will be programmed and interface with the machine tool to not only load and unload the parts, but it will load different parts of shapes and sizes, and it will also aid the machine by changing work holding. So you can pretty much load your week's schedule up on one machine and run it labour free. So effectively, you're taking automation to a different level. You're not only automating components, but you're automating the setups, the work holding, and the tooling. Yes, indeed. Uh, cl clearly, with that level of automation, there is a lot more planning involved. However, once you've done it once, your return, once you run it again and again and again, it becomes very, very much easier. So you're transferring those skills from an operator who would be standing in front of a machine and loading it to a, a process planning engineer man who, is, who can now have a very much more interesting and rewarding job and embrace the automation that's there big time. Very exciting times, Martin. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much indeed.